Hey folks, Technivers here. I am back again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest updated version of Kira. They had a couple of bug fixes come out and they are now on version 4.7.1. That's right, another iteration less than a week later. But uh, usually that's a good thing. It means that they fixed something that they found to be broken and they're usually pretty cool about rolling these updates out pretty quickly. So let's jump over to Kira real quick. Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Alright, so this is it. And as you can see, this is the change log. There's not much here, pretty much just four little bug fixes. So there was a crash that was caused when duplicating a built-in profile. You would have issues, it would lock everything up and then shut Kira down. They have fixed that. Uh, and then it says the Mac OS build is now notarized by Apple to prevent a security warning, meaning that it's easier to run it without running into problems over and over again when using it on your Mac. And they corrected the orientation of the build plate mesh for the TiVo Tarantula Pro. I have a T-Pro in here, we can actually go and look at that and see what the difference in orientation is. Let me open another instance of Kira so we can compare. Um, but the main one here is this one here. Now I had had some complaints on the channel. <clears throat> a gentleman had mentioned this and before I post the video here I will dig his name out of the comments and make sure to put it in the description. But uh, he had mentioned that when you put an equal symbol in your start and end G code, it causes the printer to crash. So uh, it, it, it was causing problems. They fixed this now. You should be able to put equals in your end and start G code. And we will test that out as well. So let's go ahead and close this up. And we can actually test that out first. Let's go to settings, printer, manage printers. Uh, and while we're in here, let's click on profiles and select, let's select the standard quality profile and then uh, duplicate it. Uh, and here, here I have it right here. <clears throat> Didn't have any issues, so that bug seems to be fixed. Now we were going to go into the start and the NG code so that's in here under machine settings and right here so um, that's going to be commented out alright so it said the problem was that when you try to load a model with equal signs in your start and NG code that it would cause a crash so let's see if we can load a model here I wonder if I have any on the desktop yeah, no. Yeah, there we go. Just easier than digging around. Uh, close that, close that. I got my model on there, got no crash. So yeah, things seem to be working well. I need to go and change that back before I forget though. Just because, oh, no, what are you doing? Just because I don't want to end up with that there for no reason. Now maybe that it was causing that crash when you sent it to your printer with that in the g-code and that could be the case. Maybe it was inserting or, or doing something that it shouldn't have been doing. Um, but they said they fixed it so I'm gonna go ahead and take their word for it. Let's check out this other version of Kira I have opened up. Uh, you can see it's telling me that the new version is available. I do always keep my old version and my old settings just because you never know when you're gonna run into a version with an error like 4.7 and it's better than waiting that two days, three days for the update to have something on standby. Or you could always just reinstall the old version, but I mean, that's more work than you need. I mean, it, it doesn't take up that much, but it's probably like 10 versions of Kira on my computer here. So we were going to look at TiVo Tarantula Pro build plate. And oh, it looks like I may not have that one. I actually may not have that one set up correctly. Let's go in here and do it. Uh, maybe I got it under T-Pro Dual. Did I do that one right? Hmm. Not seeing a difference in orientation. I do see uh, the build plate for the T-Pro in this one. So, doesn't look misaligned? Hmm. 
but perhaps it is. Let's see if we notice a difference in this one. Um, those, if you'd like to know how to change those, by the way, you can make your own. Yeah, it is a little bit better aligned, isn't it? Um, you can make your own of those out of STL files. You just have to locate them properly and then place them in the right place in Kira, in the settings, in, in, in the right folder. Um, and I have videos around for doing that if you're interested in checking it out. But that's basically it, Kira 4.7.1. Uh, if this video has been helpful to you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like and share it with your friends. Also, I'm giving away a printer right now, so go ahead and check out the link in the description down below to the contest rules for entry, and you could win. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers, and so far I am just about to hit... 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.